Hey everyone, it's springtime here in Arizona. It's almost summertime and temperatures are rising. Today it's gonna to be about 100 degrees. So I just wanted to share some tips and things that I do to help keep my bunnies cool in the summer heat. All right, here we go. All right guys, so one of the first things we do is we always freeze a lot of water bottles. These are all two liter water bottles. Now keep in mind, they do take a while to freeze. So um, once one melts, it could take um, 48 hours or more just to freeze back up. So make sure you always have extras at all times. We have a lot of bunnies, so we need a lot of them. So I have all these, I have one here, and I have even more up here. Probably gonna, um, I also have some already outside, so I have quite a few. I also have frozen tiles that I keep over here, um, and sometimes I'll place those out or in um, Tom's uh, burrow as well. So I typically use at least one frozen two liter per two bunnies. So one bunny can lie on either side. So here's exactly what I mean by one bunny lying on either side. And that's why you want to have at least one of these per two bunnies. I have about 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bunnies total. So I definitely need a lot of two liter bottles. The next thing is, is I like to provide them a lot of shade. I even put up these portable um, umbrellas. I can take these out during the cooler months or keep them up, whatever I want to do. But I put them up every summer to help keep them cool and shaded. Now they do move throughout the day. So depending on where it is, you may have to move the water bottle back into the shaded area. So see how Fitz is lying right next to the water bottle. She's keeping nice and cool. I also let my bunnies dig. So um, a couple of the girls have dug underground burrows. Um, this one I kind of helped get started. And then, oh, you can see Hammy. She's comfortably inside right now, just chilling. So um, when it gets really hot, I might even put some ice in here to help keep the burrow nice and cool as well. Now this is Fitz's burrow. It actually goes back really deep. How deep it goes. It's nice and cool down there. You can feel the cold air. So bunnies tend to eat after it starts to get dark and early in the morning. So you really won't see Tom come out of his burrow until the sun is starting to go down. And then he knows that the temperatures are starting to cool and it's safe to come out. So I will show you Tom just real quick. I don't want to disturb him too much because we're trying to keep him cool, but I'll let you take a little peek. is nice and happy down there. Um, so let's see. The temperature in his burrow is 71 degrees and outside it is, I guess 95, but it feels like 100. So during the heat of the day, I typically like to leave all my babies alone, try not to mess with them. I don't wanna stress any of my bunnies out during the daytime. In this um, little kennel area, I have frozen tiles, I have frozen two liter bottles, and there's three bunnies in there. You can see, well, it's hard to see, but there's a couple bunnies over there, but then there's also bunnies hanging out in this burrow that I made. So it's a lot cooler down there than above ground. I like to provide them, again, lots of fresh water, lots of food, lots of frozen water bottles to keep cool. And then I ch do check on them a little bit throughout the day, but I mean, like, I don't disturb them, like, try to pet them or pick them up, and I try not to scare them either. So my enclosures are metal dog kennels. So in order to keep them cool, I've planted a bunch of orange jubilees around. 
as well as snail vines and blackberry vines. And that way they can crawl up and help to shade and keep the metal kennels cooler. So when it gets really, really hot, I would say, you know, maybe 110 or higher, I might also wet down areas that I know that they hang out in um, and, and then let them dry overnight. So then that way they can like dig in patches and find the cool um, dirt to help them keep cooler throughout the day. Um, you just want to be a little bit careful with having too many moist areas, especially after it rains, um, because flies will um, wind up laying their eggs or mosquitoes will lay their eggs and you just want to make sure that they don't um, infect your bunnies. Also moisture can cause fungus and other issues with your bunnies so you want to make sure that there's plenty of dry areas for them to um, hang out just in case. Alright guys well that's pretty much it so if you have any questions or you have found any other tips that might be helpful for us we're always looking for new ideas to keep our bunnies cool and comfortable so I just wanted to share what we do so you can always share what you guys do for your bunnies. Have a great day!